What we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to export your graphic. So say you're creating for the web. One of the things that you will find is you've got a constraint, so a size constraint. So I'm just going to use the graphic that I've been using for when I've done my YouTube videos. So at the top, what you need to do when you're going to export is go to File, come down to Export. And what we're going to use is we're going to use this Save for Web, which is a legacy thing from an older version of Photoshop, but it is amazing when you're trying to create for the web. So if we click on that link, what it's going to do is it's going to come up normally with the optimized option. And what I want you to do is up at the top, I want you to go and look at the four up option. And what this does is this actually shows you the original image itself, which you can see here is 1.25 meg in size. It then gives you three other windows and each window we can change up at the top here using the preset or by fiddling with the options that are here to show you what the image would look like in different types of settings. So here for instance it says JPEG high. The other thing that we can do on here is we can actually change this image size itself. So for instance, you should have been creating this at the correct size when you're doing your web adverts. But if you were making something say like a, a, a larger display and you wanted to shrink it down. So here I could change it to say, actually I want it 300 pixels wide by 149 and hit enter on this. And what it does is it resizes each one of these images. And you'll see now that the original has dropped down in size. Um, the JPEG images here are all different types of JPEG. So I'm just going to go back and actually set that back at 100% just so that we can see how this actually operates. So this first one up here I've made a JPEG high. The next one over here what I could do is I could say actually I'd like that to be a PNG and this one over here I would like to make that, let me go for a GIF in here. So we'll go for dithered and non-dithered. Okay, so if we look at each of these images now, we have got a JPEG, which is at 60 quality, not the highest quality ever, but it's 74.49 kilobytes now, which is a much better size. If you go down and look at the PNG, that's much bigger, that's 105.7, and the GIF's 45. Now this high here, I can actually go in and say I'd like that quality to actually be 100%. And now what we can do is we can see that if we made this a JPEG with every single little bit of detail that we possibly could have, it would be 227.4K. If this was PNG, it would be 105.7K, and that's this is the 24-bit one. And if it was a GIF, it would be 45. But what we're seeing in here now is we might start to see some discrepancy and it might start to show that it's pixelating more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the JPEG image at the moment, and I'm going to take that JPEG down to... A low quality image so it's really low size but if I now zoom in on all of these and we use the plus button down here you can start to see where the pixelation has happened so this image here is now very very pixelated so it's not very good quality comparing it to the original the PNG isn't bad actually that's quite a good image there and obviously the GIF is too now remembering if you're going to want something that's got any transparency to it you would need to use either the GIF or the PNG as JPEG is just purely pictorial. Now when you've actually decided on the one that you want, so I'm going to pick the PNG image here and remembering that these three all operate on the web, that's why you can only export to web, you can't export to a bitmap or a TIFF file because TIFF and bitmaps are not visible on the web. What you then do is you click save and save will then allow it to save using that particular type of export facility. That's how you're going to be able to make sure that your graphics meet that size on your client brief.